Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Yalik, and we are lit possibly in more ways than one, but I'll never tell. Anyway, we have this, which is the reason for this video. Uh, Speed Serum is back, and Speed Serum with Warriors is the most amazing thing ever. My wife was uh, 15 minutes ago. She was tired. She's going to bed, and I said I had to stay up to make this video. She's like, well, you don't have to make the video because, you know, wives do not love Boom Beach. <laughs> this seems to be almost universal. Anyway, yeah, I'm like, no, I definitely do. Speed bonus, 300% for 10 seconds. No, you, you, a speed serum with warrior. Speed serum is good with any other droop type. If you have RCZM, speed serum's great. All of a sudden, you're doing three times more damage. Or if you have tanks or whatever, sure. Doing more damage is spectacular. And so it's good for warriors too, but there is one more thing. So with warriors, warriors heal themselves up. I think it's 78 health points per swing. Um, does it say blah, 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 blah. The tribal warrior is an awesome sight in battle. He charges fearlessly knowing that his crystal hammer will heal him with every blow. I believe the healing is 78 per swing. Per warrior which means it's fixed it doesn't scale with bonuses or anything like that which is bullshit <laughs> because if it did and wow yeah anyway self heal for it there we go all right so 78 so when they have a 300% damage or a speed bonus warriors just go crazy I mean these are already pretty heavily boosted because it's you know there's six three one warriors so six damage or up six gbe three damage so we've already got a boost going anyway um and with the speed serum they're healing themselves so fast that warriors basically become invincible movement increase that's a good question okay so this is 300 percent movement increase so do i multiply damage by three or just movement i think now i just said something that made this claim a moment ago um i believe it's just the movement but in the case of the warriors again they swing every second so now they're swinging three times faster so yeah I think I don't know I'm not a hundred percent absolute on that and since you know Boom Beach doesn't explain the uh, the mechanics behind anything we have no choices about that but to try to you know, guess at it ourselves so um, this is the task force. I mean, this is a warrior account. I have two of them. Uh, in, this, in this task force, I keep two accounts, and they are both warrior accounts. The other here. Um, oh, we'll go back to that later. This is a great task force. We have extra spots. Uh, I, it doesn't matter who you are. We've got a guy. He's an ops guy, but he's, he's needing to save powder. Uh, we've got preppers. We've got pushers. We've got other op guys. And then there's me. I do op stuff, and I do... The, what nobody else seems to be doing. I do the warrior stuff. Um, this one is also 631 and also had an op hit to do because I'm going to be incommunicado for a couple days. I have, uh, I'm basically not going to be able to open Boom Beach until probably Sunday morning from now. For me, it's uh, Thursday night. So whenever you see this, um, that account does not have endless reserves. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I have two accounts in this task force, and they're both uh, 631, same. 6, six GBE, 3 damage, 1 health for the warriors. So those are my, air quotes, my warrior accounts, if that makes sense. So, lit up, did our op hits, and then since I have all this extra boost and nothing to do with it, I went ahead and I, this is my practice place. Because we have the, um, first of all that, that's the task force. It's a weird collection. I, I don't know what to tell you, but it's just a bunch of people who know lots of things about Boom Beach, but um, have very varied experiences in the game, which is awesome. But uh, so, new student is at 1503, which, um, oh, I can't look at the US leaderboard on this account. Uh, 
he's you know on the global leaderboard that I think it's like 2,000 he's running six boosted ice and two shields at the moment I think he said he was he'd crack maybe 1500 I'm not sure um, Wow that's actually that's rare global number one has you know his icon there and then nobody else here has uh, the icon the badge icon for quite a ways that's Hmm, that is interesting, and that probably is worth some analysis, but that's not what this video is about. Anyway, 1500 VP is a pretty big deal, so, you know, and I, if you want to take down this base, feel free. Let's observe. So, six ice at the moment. He was seven at one point, but he decided he needed a little bit more offense, so, um... He went down to five over last weekend, and when he did that, actually, there was a noticeable difference in the ease of the base. I would not recommend five. At least six, I would have to say. And, obviously, the twin shields um, boosted, of course. Six boosted, not... Yeah. If you're going to have ice, have a lot like that, and have it boosted for however long you... Yeah. Because otherwise, you're stopping nobody, as I'm about to prove. Anyway... So this is the base, typical leaderboard style of layout, and uh, sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles as I'm talking. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that, let's not do that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just, uh, uh, that was not the right button. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to hit that a couple ways, because, I mean, he, it's out there, and we've got this boost going. So first way we're going to hit this, like that, like that. And just observe, when we get to the HQ, we're going to save, uh, really? Hmm, wait, all right. Usually, well, usually it's two barrages to kill that with the six ice anyway. Uh, sometimes it's two and an art. And that's, I guess we're starting off a bit unlucky here, but doesn't matter. So we're going to use a, or at least try to use a couple of different warrior techniques to take down this base. First one we're going to do, we're going to run at this shield. And let's get that med kit out real early. Because we've tanked a bunch of mines. But luckily, we've only got one loss here, so that's good. Alright, so now's the time to pay attention. Uh, one swing. Boom, there, okay. And we're gonna come right to there, and then from there we're going straight to the machine gun, and from the machine gun straight to the HQ. And on the HQ, a med kit. How are we doing for troop casualties? Damn it, I hate it when that happens. All right, so, uh, definitely need a med kit, and we need this, now. The warrior, I mean, just look at that. It, they're just ripping through that. I'm not keeping count on this, and I probably don't have to be. It's it, it does not normally go like that, and it should not be that easy. Just And look how many there are left. Normally, when I beat this, I'll be, you know, I've got like 10, 20, however many, because this is a fearsome base. They don't come a whole lot nastier than that. Oh, that was just me. Never mind. Um, they do not come a whole lot nastier than that. Six ice, seven ice. He's had, you know, I've, I've worked on both. But, um, yeah. But with the speed serum, with the warriors, because they heal themselves up as they attack, and they attack so much faster, uh, they are just it, almost invincible. It's almost uh, actually retreat on this. That is not going to work. The hit that we're going to try to do next requires... I don't get to clear any mines. Um, and I'm actually going to have to use a gimmicky landing, too. Because I do not have the best statues on this account. And... Bullet. Everybody else. Uh, I do not have the best statues on this account, and the GB on this is really tight. Super tight. That is probably going to be an issue. Alright. That one boat is suffering, though. 
lost a lot of troops there. The boat with three left right now. Everything else is pretty good, but we'll see. One, and hopefully that gets this down. And then we go here, same as before. Bye. All right. And these warriors, they take a really weird path here. There's one, usually one warrior who likes to spread super wide off that side of this uh, rocket launcher just below me. Okay, and I think we're good. We're gonna load up Bullet's Taunt this time because he's safely in uh, range, so he won't be running while taunting again. Hopefully that's probably gonna screw us on this. One and hope the, the shield goes down because I mean it really has to go down uh, on that first try. Otherwise, we're just going to be barraging our warriors again. That does happen from time to time. We have enough for wow. This is just going to be awesome. So watch, boom, boom, and this is a six-six shield gen ice base just melting. That was seconds. Two, maybe three. I wasn't even keeping count. That is disgusting. For the record. And that's why I'm making this video. Because that's how I've spent uh, a good bit of my time tonight. Just, you know. So, Speed Serum. Warriors. Pretty much magic. Good for all the other troop types too. But for Warriors, just unbelievably good. So... It has been a fun night, and it's really unfortunate that I've got to take a couple days off the game here because I'm going to be, you know, traveling and busy and stuff. Um, because this is the sort of time where I would normally be having uh, an insane amount of fun doing stuff like that. Anyway, I wanted to share that because it is so much fun. This stuff is just not you. That is my drink of choice right there. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it goes like thumbs up if you found anything interesting here. I'm going to hit the hay right now, but um, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Catch you later, guys.